Twin Turbo LS Ford. Twin Turbo LS Ford. Twin Turd L with a mess on the floor. Next I'm going to be working on the subframe connectors and the torque box reinforcement. So this is actually two separate kits here. One kit is from SMR, one is LMR, SVE LMR, SVE, small victories every day. So the long bars are the subframe connectors. Those actually go along with these seat bracket sections and then these torque box reinforcements. And then the rest of these actually bolt and then get welded into the torque boxes. So these long curved pieces actually go inside the car in the trunk area. These plates go in the top in the trunk area. They bolt to this here. So one plate actually goes on the top in the car and then the bottom section goes underneath to reinforce the lower control arm. So the subframe connector kind of comes up like this and then it gets welded in. The seat, seat bracket bolt gets welded onto the top of the bracket here and then bolted onto these bolts for the seats. And then one of those plates gets welded on here. The connector gets welded to the bracket, which gets welded to the torque box. And then for the torque box, you have the bolt coming through for the control arm. We're gonna have a plate welded on the bottom that's gonna strengthen up this section. And then a plate that goes in here, which is actually the one I was holding up before. So a piece of bolt in from the top section. That other bracket goes in and connects where this bolt is. And then the idea here is to reinforce this whole section that's going to be taking a lot of the load from the control arm and a lot of this stuff is like kind of just overlapped spot welded metal from the factory and a lot of hard launches can kind of rip this thing out of here then the long bracket essentially gets welded onto this section here bolted to the seat bracket for support and then welded up to the front subframe there kind of keep the back of the car from trying to push forward without the front of the car going forward then when you launch the car the wheel goes forward the axle is going to want to wrap the opposite direction and push that lower control arm forward so that torque box reinforcement will really strengthen that up and will be more likely to push the car forward instead of ripping those spot welds out of there. So I'll try to get creative with the filming. I got to get the axle some of the way out, the control arms out of there, some of the interior out. All right, so I'm starting to get these bolts out for that lower control arm. Drop this down and then the spring will drop out. I'm just going to put the bolt back in. For now, just so I don't lose it. Kicking it around, sliding around on my back. Alright, so I got the control arm and the spring out. Now I'm, I'm, I do have the axle just on a jack, so it's mostly out of the way for me. And now I have access, and now I have access to everything up in here. All right, so I'm also going to, I decided I'm just going to take the whole axle out, actually, because the brake line back here was actually rubbing on the axle, and the brake line was kind of rubbed through. So I had to break the line anyways uh, to replace that hose. So I figure if I'm breaking again, I'm going to have to bleed the brakes. I might as well just get this whole axle out of the way while you while we're in here that's always the famous last words while we are in there I can take it out and I'll actually weld the axle tube as long as we're pulling it out breaking the brake line uh, and then the axle will be completely out of the way to get these re reinforcements in I can weld the axle tube and replace that brake line alrighty got this guy out and here was that brake line that I was talking about that was starting to rub through. So we got this plate that gets bolted into here. And then I'll go ahead and do some stitch welding on it. And then this we got to open up, cut this open a little bit. And then this plate actually goes up inside here to reinforce this hole. So what I'll start by doing is going in and grinding some of this space away. And then cutting this opening so I can get that plate in there. And then I'll do some grinding around this area to make room for the plate for the connector. Then I'll actually do some grinding here and up front to get some bare metal for the subframe connector to weld on. Okay, so here's the driver's side. That's kind of what it looks like stock, or how it was. I did go through with a silver sharpie and mark kind of where I wanted to weld. Uh, I did trace the bracket there, and what I'm going to do is just try to remove some material and figure out where I want to weld it. So I do have some of the stock bracing that I want to weld in because it's just held in by these little spot welds. So like here's a good example here is a spot weld, spot weld. So what I want to do is actually put some little beads on here 
Over on the passenger side, I started to clean this up a little bit. So like this whole bracket here, it just has these three spot welds. So I'll be able to place some beads around this. Uh, I started using a grinder, but then I just started using the drill with the steel brush on it. And it actually cleans it up pretty nice. Got inside of here, down on the bottom, some areas up on the top and through here. My battery died and I was cleaning up this spot here, but I should be able to get in and kind of get some beads on the steel plate after it's bolted in. Over here, over here, uh, and then stitch some of this factory stuff together, beef that up a little bit. I did remove the rear brake line because the rear brake line came up over here. As I mentioned, this one was already kind of rubbed on, so uh, I ordered a new one of those. It's like 30 bucks, and that'll probably end up just making a new line here. This is actually looking pretty good. I'll probably get the welder over and start putting some tacks down while the battery's charging and I'll come back in a little bit. So got pretty much all the welding done down here before I put the brackets in. Don't look pretty, but it doesn't really need to look pretty. Some of the stuff is a little bit difficult to weld because it's pretty thin. You can see this, this spot's all kind of bubbly right here, so it didn't really take much to actually start blowing through this. Some of it's rusted and really thin. But got kind of everything all reinforced. And then that plates can actually bolt into here, so we should be able to weld the plate into here. But that should be good for now. So now I'm going to go get a fresh half-inch drill bit. Mine are pretty dull. And then I'll start working on drilling the holes and getting the plates and everything mocked up there. We can go ahead and throw a fresh coat of paint on and we'll be good. I did end up getting a brush like this too. It worked out pretty good. So next we have these plates for the upper boxes. I'm going to go in like this and then they get bolted in. But what I think I'm going to do is Probably tack them in place and then uh, then I'll drill through. I got those holes widened out. I'll stick the bolts up through the bottom. Kind of drilled. You can see I kind of went in at an angle and then tried to get them straight up as I could. So I'll put the bolts in and then we'll put the plates in through the top. All right, it's inside in this trunk area. Got the plates in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark out an area where the sound deadener is and I'm probably going to go about an inch on the outside of where the plate is. And then I'm going to remove that sound deadener. So I'll just go on the outside by a little bit, like an inch. And then I'll be able to weld there once I remove this stuff. Alright, so while my drill's charging again, I'm going to start working on these lower brackets. I can put this little bracket up. What I'll do is put the control arm up into place. What I'll do is tighten the bolt down and then I can use that plate as a reference to drill the holes. Alright, so it's about 11 o'clock New Year's Eve and I'm going to head in. So I think I'm going to end the video here, edit this thing, and then we'll do a part two and finish it up on part two. 
last part of the video I was talking about getting that plate up there so I finished all that stuff I did end up pulling the arm back out and then I ended up doing the same thing that I did up here took the wire brush and then cleaned everything out and then I did end up welding this plate on underneath and this plate is for the subframe connector so essentially this plate just goes up like this so all I did was take a sharpie and trace that out and use the brush to take all the paint off I still got to weld the back side of it here but we'll do that tomorrow I did have to trim a little bit of the inside of the bracket to get this part of it to sit flush but overall welded on pretty decent and by decent I don't mean pretty I'm just saying it didn't burn through or anything weird in a bunch of spots I did bolt the plate in tightly and then weld it I did get the four bolts through up there actually had the wife help me uh, do that for a little bit she held the bolt in the right spot so I could get them tight from the bottom so next video I'll be doing this stuff over on this side and then we'll get that subframe connector welded up and then we should be done with this project I'm gonna go ahead and weld his axle tubes before I put the axle in but other than that it's going okay it's just taking a little while to do it the most frustrating part so far has been my drill bits I have terrible drill bits I even I went to go get a new one and uh, that one was nice but here's kind of what it looks like from the top side so far I did end up scraping a bunch of that sound deadener away did it over on this side too I just ended up using the torch I was real careful just to get it warm and then I scraped it off so I will go through probably with uh, the brush and then scuff this a little bit and then I'll probably just lay a couple little beads on these three sides just so the plate doesn't shift and then I'll do the same thing around here maybe do like four or six little beads on that I did vacuum this out earlier today because it had a bunch of uh, rat party stuff going on because this thing was sitting in a barn for a while so you could tell something was living under there and kind of chewing on the seats and stuff so cleaned all that out but yeah overall not not too bad so far it does kind of suck doing it just in a garage on jack stands it'd definitely be nice to have a lift and a little bit more room to work around everything so I kind of got a lot going on especially with my truck here welder down the middle so I gotta get a little creative but thanks for watching if you made it this far happy new year and I'll uh, see you in the next one.